Now the next topic is reason represented by inequalities. So consider x comma y ordered pair such that y is lying between 0 to x square that is 0 less than equal to y, y less than equal to x square. So we draw y is equal to x square as parabola that is we are going to draw this is x axis and this is y axis so we draw a parabola which is passing through origin so this is y is equal to x square and we draw A line AB from a point A on the x axis. Such that y is greater than or equal to 0 and y less than or equal to x squared. If you see on that line, point lying on that will satisfy y less than or equal to x squared. If we suppose this is point 2, so this is y is equal to 4. So 4 is less than or equal to 2 squared that is 4. So we consider so many points and we will see this uh, inequality is satisfied. This is a case when we have to check out the reason that is y greater than or equal to 0 and y this. So that will be the reason. So now we have to find out what happens when we have another inequality that is suppose also we have zero less than or equal to y less than or equal to x plus two that is and x is greater than or equal to zero. So we mark a point P First of all, we have to draw y is equal to x plus 2. y is equal to x plus 2 means when x is equal to 2, y is 4. When x is equal to minus 2, y is 0. So, this line intersects at minus 2 comma 0 and this is y is equal to x plus 2. So we draw another line that is a dash b dash to satisfy the inequalities and take a point P on this line such that the point P satisfies x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0 and y is less than or equal to x plus 2. Similarly, any other point p dash or a dash b dash will also satisfy these conditions. So, all such points p, p dash, p double dash and so on form a set Satisfying 
these conditions and the system the reason represented above is dotted that is that we have this is parabola and this is a b and this is a dash b dash that is also cut the line that is also cut the line and satisfy the inequality so this is a dotted region and that is our required reason so to understand this we will do a example if we have to find the reason between them then this will be required reason but this is a inequality case so this is a required reason on which every point on this line we can say on that line certain points the inequality so these lines these points form the set and that is the required reason where Our inequality is satisfied. To understand this, for example, find the area of the region ordered pair x y, where zero is less than equal to y, y is less than equal to x square. Zero is less than equal to y. Y is less than equal to x plus two, and zero less than equal to x. X is less than equal to c. So we have two curve and one line. So first of all, we draw the diagram. and first so to, to draw the diagram we have to find the point of intersection of given curve that is x square and y is equal to x plus 2 so first of all we are going to find the intersection point of this curve that implies x square is equal to x plus 2 that gives x square minus x minus 2 is equal to 0 That gives x square minus 2x plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. That gives x into x minus 2 plus 1 x minus 2 is equal to 0. That gives x plus 1 into x minus 2 is equal to 0. That the curves are intersecting at x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 2. Therefore. Y the curve cut at y is equal to minus one plus two that is one and at x is equal to two that gives y is equal to two plus two is equal to four. Therefore, the point of intersection of y is equal to x squared. And y is equal to x plus two are minus one comma one and two comma four. So we are going to draw the diagram on the basis of this diagram is just like that. This is the x-axis and this is y-axis. So this is the parabola. Y is equal to x square. So this is a point. This is a line that cut x axis as minus two. On putting minus two, it becomes zero. So we get here y is equal to x plus two. So 
will cut the axis at minus 1 comma 1 that is the point minus 1 comma 1 and at the point 2 comma 4. Also this line cut the axis at 0 comma 2. And also we have we have to draw x is equal to 3. So we draw here x is equal to 3 line. That is a dash b dash. So we have to cut a line that will also cut this that is x is equal to 2 that cut the given curve y is equal to that is our y is equal to x square and the line x is equal to 2. So if we see here we have all this. So what is our required area? So our required area is that is area of reason O B a O that is our reason plus our reason is that is because it is x is greater than equal to 0 not only y greater than 0 we have x greater than equal to 0 so this is the all area plus area of reason that is A B sorry this is the reason O B a O. Here we can say C really. O C B A. And next reason is A B B dash A dash A. So this is our required reason where inequalities are satisfied. This is a set of points where the inequality is satisfied all or these points. So the required reason is And if we see, if we consider the question, so we have to find just this area. But here we have to get where the inequality is satisfied, inequality is satisfied between this area 0 C B A for all C B A plus A B B dash A A dash. Very good. If we consider the previous problem, we have to find, if we have this line, this line and this line, and we have to find the area, so we have to cut this area. So, but there is difference. So, the required area is equal to area of reason O C B A O plus area of reason A B B dash a dash A. That named as modulus I1 plus modulus I2. So, if we see I1 area is bounded by the curve y is equal to x here, x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 and etc. Therefore, I1 is equal to 0 to 2 x square dx that is x cube over 3 ranging from 0 to 2 that is 1 by 3 8 minus 0 that is 8 by 3 and also i2 is covered by y is equal to x plus 2 x is equal to 2 x is equal to 3 and x axis therefore i2 is 2 to 3 x plus 2 dx that is x square over 2 ranging from 2 to 3 plus 2x ranging from 2 to 3. So we get 1 by 2 outside that is 9 minus 4 plus 2 times 3 minus 2. So we get 5 by 2 plus 2. So I2 is 5 by 2 plus 2. Therefore, total area is I1 plus I2 modulus. So we get 8 by 3 
plus 5 by 2 plus 2. That gives 6, 16 plus 15 plus 12. So we get 43 over 6. That is our required area. So it was all about the chapter area under curve where we learn how can we find the area between a curve, between simple curve, area between curve, area under curve, area under symmetric curve, area under curve when curve curves the axis at multiple points and the area represented by the inequality. So in inequality there is a different area. We have to go beyond the graph, beyond the curve, outside the curve. We have to cover that reason also where the inequality is satisfied. So on practice the question you can find the area, so not, the noticeable points are there. We have to first find out the intersection point of the curve, then draw the curve, then find out which is the upper curve and which is the lower curve. So on the basis of these three points we can find the area under curve very easily.